Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we will be performing conversions in the metric system. I am assuming you've watched the introduction to conversions video as well as the metric prefixes video. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready? Uh, let's get started. Right there, convert 456 decimeters to centimeters. Remember, 10 decimeters is equivalent to one meter and 100 centimeters is equivalent to one meter. Let's begin by writing our given quantity as a ratio. We write 456 decimeters over one. Our first conversion factor will convert decimeters to meters. Notice we put decimeters in the denominator so that they will cancel. Meters is in the numerator and the ratio of meters to decimeters is one to 10. Decimeters cancel. Our next conversion factor will convert those meters to centimeters. Notice we have meters in the denominator, centimeters in the numerator, and the ratio of centimeters to meters is 100 to one. Meters cancel. This leaves us with centimeters and that's what we wanted. So now to perform the calculation with our calculator, we enter 456 divided by 10 times 100 and what'd you get, Charlie? 4,560. Very nice, 4,560 centimeters and that's our answer. Now, had we had known 10 centimeters is equivalent to one decimeter, we could have got the answer using only one conversion factor. Watch. Here's our given ratio. Now, this conversion factor will convert decimeters to centimeters directly. Notice decimeters is in the denominator, centimeters is in the numerator, and the ratio of centimeters to decimeters is 10 to one. Decimeters cancel leaving us with centimeters and we simply enter 456 times 10 in our calculator and again we get 4,560 centimeters for our answer. Let's do another one. How many microliters are in 0.035 milliliters? Remember 0.035 means 35 one thousandths. Recall micro means one millionth of Therefore, there are one million microliters in one liter. Milli means one thousandth of. Therefore, there are one thousand milliliters in one liter. Let's begin with our given quantity and write it as a ratio. We have 0 0.035 milliliters over one. Our first conversion factor will convert milliliters to liters. Notice milliliters is in the denominator and liters is in the numerator. Our ratio of liters to milliliters is one to 1,000. Milliliters cancel. Now remember, we're trying to convert to microliters. So our next conversion factor will convert liters to microliters. Notice we put liters in the denominator. Microliters are in the numerator and the ratio of microliters to liters is one million to one. Liters cancel, leaving us with the units of microliters, which is what we wanted. And to perform the calculation in the calculator, we enter 0 0.35 divided by 1,000 times 1 million. And what did you get, Charlie? 35. Very nice. 35 microliters, and that is our answer. Let's do another one. How many cc's are in 11.6 deciliters? Remember, cc's represent cubic centimeters or centimeters cubed. They're all the same. Recall, deci means one-tenth of. 10 deciliters is equivalent to one liter. Milli means one-thousandth of. Therefore, there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Let's start with our given quantity, 11.6 deciliters over one. That's our given ratio. Our first conversion factor will convert deciliters to liters. Notice deciliters are in the denominator liters are in the numerator, and the ratio of liters to deciliters is one to 10. Deciliters cancel. Our next conversion factor will convert liters to milliliters. Notice liters are in the denominator, milliliters are in the numerator, and the ratio of milliliters to liters is 1,000 to one. Liters cancel, leaving you with milliliters. Now we're trying to get to cubic centimeters. So our next conversion factor will convert milliliters to cubic centimeters. But remember from an earlier video, one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. 
Therefore, the ratio of cubic centimeters to milliliters is one to one. Milliliters cancel, leaving us with cubic centimeters. That's what we wanted. So to perform the calculation with your calculator, you enter 11.6, you divide by 10, and then multiply by 1,000, and you get 1,160 cubic centimeters, 1,160 cc's, and that is our answer there. Okay, how many microliters are in 437 cubic centimeters? Recall, micro means one millionth of. Therefore, there are one million microliters in one liter. Milli means one thousandth of, which means there are one thousand milliliters in one liter. Here's our given quantity, 437 cc's over one. It's written as a ratio. Our first conversion factor will convert cubic centimeters to milliliters. Remember, one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeters. Therefore, the ratio of milliliters to cubic centimeters is one to one. Notice our cubic centimeters cancel, leaving us with milliliters. Now we will convert those milliliters to liters. Notice this conversion factor has milliliters in the denominator so that they will cancel. The liters are in the numerator and the ratio of liters to milliliters is one to 1,000. Milliliters cancel out. Finally, our last conversion factor will convert our liters to microliters. Notice liters is in the denominator, microliters are in the numerator, and the ratio of microliters to liters is one million to one. Liters cancel, leaving us with microliters. And now to perform the calculation with the calculator, get ready, Charlie. We enter 437, divide by 1,000, times one million. And what'd you get, Charlie? 437,000. Very nice. 437,000 microliters, and that is our answer. That completes this video. Let's all take a break, and I hope to see you again soon.